Hey guys and gals, Jack Spearco here. A um, little quick supporting video for one of my items of the day. It's a laundry hamper, but I, I don't use it as a laundry hamper. Um, honestly, I think that it would be a great idea if some uh, enterprising fishing company, without jacking the price up, made something very similar to this that was purpose-built. But this is the best bait bucket slash keep fish alive bucket that I've ever found, especially when I'm doing fishing where uh, I'm using my uh, fishing cart or something like that. I'm going pretty far away from my car or whatever, and I don't want to carry any more than I have to. And it's just really a simple thing. I originally found this, I don't remember whose channel, but one of the YouTube fishing channels I follow. And it's got these little toggles in it to keep it collapsed. And once you take it apart, it just literally pops up. And you can see it's, it's quite large. It's about as big as my upper torso, 16 inches in diameter. And the way I use it when I'm fishing is I just put it in the water a little bit out from the bank, throw a couple rocks in it so it doesn't float or turn over. And uh, when you catch fish, you just kind of toss them in there like tossing a paper ball. Uh, I usually you know, go to about that high uh, in the water depth and then you still have quite a bit of rise. So I have not really had a problem with fish jumping out. I think I've had like, I've been using it like a year. I've had one small perch jump out. I use it for a variety of things. The primary use for me for this is, I bring a lot of small bullheads and perch home to go into my ponds. Uh, then they grow out to eating size. And so I need those fish to be as fresh and lively as possible. So I keep a, uh, a bucket with an air pump or a cooler with an air pump in my vehicle. And, uh, but I, I use this to keep them healthy while I'm still fishing because it sits in the water. It's a pretty decent sized mesh, but it's small enough they can't like open it up. I've, I've used to use um, like burlap bags and stuff when I was a kid to do this with and they always eventually burrow a hole in it. I've not had anybody uh, put a hole in this yet. So that's the main reason I use it. The other reason I'll use it is sometimes I'm out fishing and we're fishing for larger catfish, bass, whatever. We use small fish for bait. Uh, so we'll either throw a cast net, check legality where you are, totally legal here in Texas for that type of fish. Uh, or a small hook and a little piece of worm, and we'll catch, you know, a dozen or two, uh, two dozen bait fish, and then we'll drop them into our bait bucket and use them for bait. That keeps them alive as well. The other big reason I use this thing uh, is there's times where I go fishing, and I'm like, you know, I catch a nice catfish. Not a huge one, but a nice one. And I'm thinking, you know, if I catch two or three more of these, I'll take them, I'll clean them, and I'll take them home. And if I don't, if I only catch this one, I really don't feel like cleaning one fish today, so I'm gonna go ahead and release it. You can use a stringer for that, but to me, I've always felt that stringers do some level of damage to the fish, and that's probably the case that at least some fish that are put on stringers and then released do not survive. Um, a lot of times, injuries that don't seem that bad to fish can create things like fungal infections and eventual death. So I don't like to harm a fish any more than necessary, especially if that fish is gonna go back into the wild. Uh, that will enable me to use this. Another thing I've done with it is when I have a fish I want to photograph, but I'm going to release anyway, it's a good waiting place for that fish until I get everything together, take a good picture of it, and send it back on its way. But the beauty, again, is, you know, folding up as, as tightly as it does. Uh, my larger fishing bag, this will even fit inside it. Uh, when I put it into my, my cart, my fishing cart, which I'll review in the future for you, um, and I lay it on the ground and then put stuff on top of it. It's like it's not even there. But when I get where I'm going, boom, it's popped up. Give it a shot. I think you'll like it. And by the way, I think if you use it for its intended purpose, it probably works just fine as a hamper. Uh, it's got over 3,000 reviews on Amazon and uh, 4.5 stars overall. Check it out today.